What's going on guys? Greg Bear here of Greg's Halfling Garden Channel. In today's video, I'm going to have to do something I totally don't want to do. I totally hate the idea of having to spray anything on my trees. This is a total last resort. I would never do this unless I totally had to because the trees, otherwise, I don't think they're going to live. They just keep getting sicker and sicker even though I'm following all the things I need to do naturally like pruning the trees, spacing them properly, fertilizing the trees right, giving them adequate water and sunshine. Nothing seems to be working, so I have to go to my last step, which is spray this disgusting chemical on these trees and hope to pray that works because otherwise I'm missing out on hundreds of pounds of peaches and apples this year that I really need to get down on my produce stand to sell. All right, roll that intro. Like I said, this is a total last resort. I do not recommend doing this otherwise, spraying any chemicals on your garden. I pretty much try to be as natural as possible. I don't use the word organic anymore. The FDA kind of ruined that for me, what they consider organic and what they don't. And then just all these foodie hippie people that shop at Wegmans and Target that just buy organic because it's organic, even though I don't know what it really means. So I just use the word natural now. Uh, so let's go over what we're gonna need for this. I found this at a store, it's called Country Max. It's probably not in your area, it's only like a upstate New York kind of thing. Similar to like an Agway, which once again is an upstate New York thing. I don't know, Tractor Supply probably has this, which is a national chain, but it's a fruit and tree spray. I got very excited when I saw this because it listed everything that's wrong with my trees, like cedar apple rust disease, rust, apple maggot, brown rot, and one other one that is affecting my peach trees. but. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I paid $18 for this and it says it'll make 42 gallons. So if I need to spray this multiple times, I can do it up to like three or four times in the season to really reduce the growth. And it goes over everything you need to know in the instructions for each individual type of tree, like the peach trees, apple trees, pear trees, cherry trees, strawberries, and different kinds of conifers and all that kind of stuff. And let's see, the active ingredient is captan, which I haven't looked up yet and malathion, I can't even say this word, malathion, malathion and carbyl, I hate reading chemical names that I can't read, it makes me further not want to put this on my tree, but like I said, last resort. So, got my spray, other things we're going to need, definitely don't want to do this on a windy day and get this all over you. There's maybe like a two or three mile an hour breeze right now. This is as good as it's gonna get. And it's also 60 degrees out. So I just wanna be outside anyways, but I'm gonna get this face shield on. I got this at Harbor Freight. Luckily that I got this before the whole outbreak started. And I got this for like two bucks. I'm sure they're sold out now if you wanted to get one. You can wear a mask too if you wanted to and safety glasses. I'm just gonna wear my sunglasses over this and definitely wear a long sleeve shirt in case you get a little overspray on your arms and it definitely says you want to wash this off as soon as you can if you get it on your skin that's why i'm wearing long sleeves and i'll definitely just throw this in the washer when i'm done with it because i don't want to wear it after that and then of course you're going to need a pump sprayer um, you can pretty much get those anywhere harbor freight is usually the best deal you can get one for like 10 bucks for a one and a half gallon it'll last you forever if you take care of it definitely don't leave chemicals in it in the winter time because it'll freeze and thaw it and break the plastic on the inside and then your sprayer will be broken and you'll be out. I've done that so many times now on accident. All right, now let's go through how much we're gonna need of this disgusting chemical. Like I said, it lists everything you need and it goes through all the different stages of bloom, like a green tip, pre-bloom, full pink, petal fall, first cover, second cover. Right now, we're just seeing a little bit of green tip come through on our peaches, so and luckily that matches up good with the apples too. So we're gonna need one and a half tablespoons per gallon. My spray is one and a half gallons. So yeah, just a little bit extra there to get that half gallon. I don't honestly know how much I'm gonna need. I might need to do two full sprays worth. I don't know. I do have a lot of trees now thinking about it. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. I have like 16 trees. So it doesn't matter if I have to make another batch. I paid 18 bucks for this if it actually works and I get 100 pounds of peaches and apples on here and sell them for 
two bucks a pound, it's definitely well worth the price. I just opened this up and it literally smells like turpentine. I'm not very excited to spray this at all. This sucks, but gotta do what you gotta do. I don't really have a one tablespoon scoop just laying around that I wanna throw out after using this, so I'm just gonna wing it and All right, that should be good. And now just fill it up with one and a half gallons of water and we can get spraying. I'm definitely gonna put gloves on for this too now that I thought of it, forgot to mention that. This smells so bad, I don't want this on my skin as little as possible. All right, just gonna fill this up with the hose real quick and we can get started. And if you have to use one of these four, Take this thing out, it's pretty easy to screw it back in. Don't want to over tighten it, you'll crack the plastic and then it won't keep pressure anymore. And just pump it like 20, 30 times without so adequate pressure. Until you start hearing it sizzle out a little bit, that's when you know it's actually full once it starts blowing out this little pressure relief valve here, which we are good to go now. So gonna throw on the old PPE and we'll be good to start spraying. Let's go. Wow, don't I look cool with this face shield <laughs> and these gloves. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to limit how much I spray and then touch my camera. So ideally I'm probably just gonna show you guys one tree and explain how I'm doing it and then time lapse the rest so I can definitely not get this chemical over my camera and then have to worry about getting it off. Worry about me touching my camera and then touching my dogs or touching doorknobs, touching faucets. I don't know what this stuff can actually do to you. It does not smell safe at all, so definitely gonna limit that. So it's just gonna be one explanation and then a complete time lapse of everything else. All right, let's roll. I hope you guys can actually hear me through this face mask. Uh, here we are at the first tree. This is pretty simple. You basically wanna soak every single part of the tree. You have to spray one side, then move to the next side, spray that side. Just go around in a complete circle to hit every single part of the tree and even spray a circle around if you do have wood chips around your tree definitely want to spray that or any peach pits around you either pick those up or definitely spray them so well, let's get started here and most of these pump sprayers do have the nozzle here that you can actually adjust in and out the more you adjust it, you can create a stream or more of a mist, depending on how you want to do. If you have to hit higher parts, you definitely want a stream, so you can definitely soak everything and make sure you hit it all. Alright, here we go. tree sprayed down. I am so glad I got this mask. You can see all the beads on it now from the spray that's getting in my face. Like I said, light breeze. Can't imagine it was a heavy breeze. It probably wouldn't work at all. All right, I'm going to shoot the everything else as a time lapse because I definitely want to limit how much I'm touching this thing with this chemical on me. And I cannot wait to get this shirt off already because it smells really bad. There's a little bit of overspray coming back on me as it is. All right, let's roll that time lapse now. That about does it for spraying the trees. Like I said, use this as a last resort. Always try pruning, proper fertilization, proper spacing on your trees, and proper watering and proper sunlight first. And if all else fails and you have to use chemicals, at least you tried everything else naturally first. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely consider giving it a like. If you wanna stay in the know for all my future uploads, make sure to turn on the notification bell and make sure it's set to notifications on always. And of course, always consider subscribing to the Greg's Halfling family. Become one of my halflings. And I hope to see you guys all on my next adventure. Greg Bear out.